So, behind me I have the world's first Blade 18 2024. This is an engineering sample, it's not out yet. Uh, and it's supposed to come out like March or April 2024. They don't have an official release date, but that's when they're estimating it'll be officially available for release. Now, the big thing about the Blade 18 this year, 4K 165 hertz display, currently just a 500 nits display, not many LED, but they don't, they don't have official decision yet on what the display will be in terms of like specs, stats, or anything like that. So, but the big thing here, 4K 165 hertz display, that's the world's first in a gaming laptop for the highest resolution. And of course, it's 16 by 10 aspect ratio, so it's extra uh, vertical resolution compared to a traditional 4K. Now, Ooh. so I get to hold one of the Blade 18s. So exciting. Okay, is it also okay if I put my Blade 18 next to it? Sure, that's fine. Yeah? Okay, so we have the Blade 18 2024 on the left, Blade 18 2023 on the right. This is the 4K panel. This is the 2.5K panel. Very similar levels of brightness, color gamut. Very hard to tell a difference between them, at least uh, at this cursory glance example. There's a webcam shutter on the Blade 18 2024. The other big thing here is Thunderbolt 5, which can go up to 120 gigabits per second in a throughput. So right now we have four, four 4K displays being ran off of this RTX 4090. So 120 Hertz, 4K, three displays at once. Uh, and this is using Nvidia surround to be able to play Assassin's Creed Mirage. And the big thing here is that uh, this Thunderbolt 5 port will allow for huge resolution display outputs. And then number two, eGPU enclosures. Like maybe the 4090 in this laptop uh, is good for five years of ultra settings or whatever, you know, but then the games start getting harder and harder. And then you can use an eGPU enclosure with the Thunderbolt 5, with the, like I said, the latest and greatest NVIDIA GPU and run basically allows for extra future proofing compared to Thunderbolt 4, which only had 40 gigabits per second. So basically we're looking at three times the increased bandwidth. Now, the way um, the, the Razer engineer described this is that normally it's only 80 gigabits per second with Thunderbolt 5, unless you put it into a high bandwidth mode, then it can go up to 120 gigabits per second. So I'm not sure what the requirements are in order to bump into that 120. Uh, gigabits per second speed bonus, but there's probably something else you have to turn off in order to get that uh, throughput. So basically, what we're looking at here is Thunderbolt 5 being the future of uh, the Intel port systems and the Blade 18 being the first gaming laptop that I've ever seen that used Thunderbolt 5. Uh, and it's gonna be great for, like again, SSD enclosures, ultra fast data bandwidth, though that's like overkill, major overkill. I really think triple display Triple displays or ultra high resolution displays like 8K monitors, that and a high refresh rate is basically the main application for Thunderbolt 5, that and eGPU enclosures. Because you could also get like the RTX 4070 version of the Blade 18 or maybe 4060 version and then get a 4090 desktop GPU. And then theoretically it'll actually be more powerful than you know the, the laptop 4090. So just more flexibility with Thunderbolt 5 uh, for future use. Now there's only one Thunderbolt 5 port on the laptop. The other port, the other USB-C will be Thunderbolt 4. So keep that in mind. I don't think motherboards will be able to support two Thunderbolt 5 ports probably because of the, the, the crazy bandwidth requirements, at least right now. Maybe in the future they'll be able to. 4K, 165 hertz, and Thunderbolt 5. That's what makes the Blade 18 special for 2024. Again, look for this in Q1, end of Q1, early Q2, 2024. Pricing, I'm sure it's gonna be very expensive for the high-end models, probably similar to previous Blade 18 in the $4,400 to $5,000 range for the top of the line spec models. So we've got the Blade 16 and Blade 14 right behind me over there, which we're gonna also make overview videos for. So be sure to subscribe and check out the channel for all of the CES content 